Hey there everyone, Point007 here with a little let's play of sorts of a, a game I've made about 13 years ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a sort of a remake of the NES game Friday the 13th. And uh, yeah, um, my recording setup is about 10 years old too, so <laughs> please do. Please understand that uh, its quality might not be great, but yeah. So that's uh, a game I've made a while back. Uh, it's kind of buggy, it's kind of difficult to wrap your head around. And uh, basically I, I tried, you know, to mimic the experience of the original Friday the 13th game. Um, but adding, you know, a layer, an extra layer of Things like, uh, oh, all right, Jason's gonna attack. Uh, adding some things like uh, different characters with stats and um, trying to make the game a bit less obtuse. Oh, 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 oh watch out, Jason! Jason's attacking me. Uh, trying to get a, a hit here and there. Um, yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Alright, so yes, trying to make the game a bit less of choose. Uh, oh yeah, zombies, zombies are tougher at night. Alright. And, um... Oh. Ouch. Alright. Yes, so yeah, as, as, much, as much as possible, making it... Oh, come on. More, uh easy to understand, but uh... Alright, I still have to... Oh my god! <laughs> like I said, the... Oh, oh no, he's throwing rocks. I see, I see. Uh, like I said, I made this game like 13 years ago, so... Uh, it's a bit weird. I'm not sure if it's completable from start to finish. Uh, I think it is, because otherwise I might have not. I might have fixed that. I mean, I usually try to play my games from beginning to end before quote unquote release them. Before I release them. Oh, stupid bird. And uh, oh, oh come on. And yet, another small detail is you might see some text appear in the upper left corner. That's because this game was fully playable online uh, for some reason. Alright, so now I'm fighting Jason in some sort of punch-out-like punch fight, which... Uh... You kind of have to figure out which move he's gonna go for and dodge appropriately. Uh, and, you know, it takes like a billion rocks to defeat him. Uh, but you can get weapon upgrades at some point. I think it's kind of easier than the original because, like, the original was really twitchy and oh, ouch! But yes, uh, I mean, oh, all right, I got him for now. Uh, and yes, so the cabin sequences are like some sort of 3D exploration thing. You can use the lighters to. Okay, so this gives me that I can upgrade my weapon up to axes by killing enemies. Okay, so actually... Okay... Oh yes, I remember now! You have to light up all the houses in order to get upgrades and stuff. Okay, okay. And there's a clock up there. You can see... It's the first day. And uh, it's currently daytime. Uh, I think 
if I die, the medicine will revive me, so that's fine. Okay, Jason's gonna attack the other side of... Uh... Okay, okay. Uh, turns out... So, one thing that's kind of confusing is the direction that you're actually walking towards on the minimap. Uh, because now I'm, you know, I'm holding left on the keyboard, but my character is moving east, which is at the right of the map. But yeah, it kind of makes sense. Oh, what now? <laughs> oh. Okay, so one medicine got used there. So I, I guess it's like if your health gets below a certain threshold, you'll get healed. Uh, also, keen-eyed viewers might have noticed that I've tweaked the map a little bit. There are a few more shortcuts um, and paths between certain sections of the map that were uh, inaccessible before. And uh, much like in the original NES game, the goal is to defeat Jason three times. And you have to beat him like three times and reduce his health to zero. And you, you, you know, you can get upgrades. And uh, But Jason gets progressively tougher as you go along. And there are other bosses, like I think the disembodied head of his mom is in, uh, ouch, is in this game. Uh, and uh, all right. And each time you fight, Jason gets stronger. With all right. so you, you you have to, you know. Right now, I'm just mashing the attack button, but usually you should wait to see what kind of attack is gonna do, so you have time to dodge. Uh, and, you know, uh, like I said, it's uh, one of my oldest games, and I haven't really playtested it or anything, so uh, it's not really surprising uh, that, uh, you know, attacks aren't really obvious, things like that. Um, at the moment, I think I should be grinding to get lighters and axes. Oh, and more medicine, that's cool. Uh, all right, that's a... Uh... Okay... Nothing... Uh, yes, like I said, there are four stats. Uh, one of them is Strength, which affects your uh, dama damage. Another is Speed, which is the speed your character moves and maybe attacks, I'm not sure. There is another stat that's Luck, which uh, influences if you get things by killing enemies. Okay. Alright, that's a few lighters. And uh, finally there's Perception, which uh, influences the amount of time you have before you get the warning that Jason's gonna attack someplace on the map. And I think... I think it does something else, but you know... It's been a while. Uh, otherwise, what, what else is there? You've got weapons that you can upgrade. Lighters are used to light up the fireplaces in the cabins, which makes it so Jason can't appear, appear there. Uh, the keys and flashlights are... I think the flashlight is like for the cave section, because there is a cave with some platforming you gotta do. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright, just got clicky. Alright, alright. That's fine. Uh, I, am I gonna be alright? Yeah, I still got one minute. Just gonna go and light that fireplace. All right, now I can get flashlights. Oh, that. All right. 
And you know, if you don't get to the where Jason is in time, you the kids in that cabin die, and uh, that's if all the kids die, it's game over. Uh, I think I might be able to do it. I got a like a lucky critical move speed boost or something. Uh, okay, destroying rocks. And you know, if there's something I kept from the original, it's the music and more or less the graphics. Uh, yeah, the music is pretty egregious. All right, all right, I think I. All right, all right, I made it. Whew. So yes, I kept the original music and uh, sound effects. Uh, I also kept most of the original graphics. Uh, but you might have noticed that like the sprites are kind of 3D. Uh, so, I mean, I'm kind of... And you might have noticed that like... Oh, all right. Zombies that I kill like disintegrate in a bunch of blocks that fall around. And uh, that's... I'm kind of proud of that in some, some way. Uh, like converting the sprites into 3D uh, blocks and like combining them and stuff so they're not like individual pixels. And uh, yeah... I think like when, when the game starts there's like a loading period where it just like loads uh, the, the sprites in their weird format that I, I made up. Alright, you need to beat Jason three times to beat the game. I think I'm, I just need to go light up more places. I think the woods and the ca cavern... I mean, how do I go north? Oh yeah, alright. So you see, like the cave cavern is pitch black. Uh, not gonna do great there without a flashlight. Uh, Alright, I, I have a minute. I can... Oh, okay. Okay, okay, so like... Okay, I see. I see, I see. There are some small cabins that all don't have fireplaces. Oh, a knife! Hell yeah! Now I'm cooking with gas. Does 60 damage instead of 45. Oh. Alright. Mm. Mm. Alright, but... Isn't like... Alright, flashlights. But isn't Jason like attacking a place I've already... Oh no. Okay, so it uses a flashlight. That's very funny. Alright, that's a bit sloppy, but you know. Alright. Yeah, I thought that I already lit up that fireplace and that... Jason wouldn't attack. Oh well. Uh, well, that's a small house. It doesn't have a fireplace. Okay. I think that the knife attack. Yeah, it's like throwing a knife on its side, but you know, that's fine. Oh yeah, I think I got it. Oh, maybe not. And playing multiplayer, I think, was, uh, you couldn't, like, see other players. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're on day two, and then Jason is stronger than before. Okay. Uh, I still have a few lighters. Should, uh, try to light up. Like, if I want to go west, I have to go left. Alright. Alright. And I think that Jason goes faster... Uh, attacks faster on subsequent days. But, uh, you know, don't, don't quote me on that. 
Uh, you can now find a machete on wolves in the forest. Gully gee whiz, thanks. Oh, alright, so Jason's gonna attack the cabin at the... Oh, alright. Maybe he's got a, a better attack now? Oh yeah, now he throws... I, oh god, that hurts. Okay. So that's like a new attack instead of throwing rocks through like purple bananas. Uh, and uh, yeah, alright. If I wanna go south, alright. So that's what I was talking about, it's a bit disorienting because the, the, the map view has always the same layout but sometimes you wanna go down or left or right and it doesn't match exactly. Uh, so it's a bit confusing. Alright, nice floating. So in the water you can jump, but you can dodge, like this. Uh, and also... Okay. The boat has some weird like acceleration inertia going on. Alright, now you should, you should be like... Oh yeah, he has a little hatchet thingy. So he's got like stronger attacks. Uh, oh, what, what? What is he doing? <laughs> okay. So. Okay, so like. It, it, it was like very difficult to see, but he blinked a certain number of times. Oh my god, Jason, please stay in place. So he blinked once, twice, then one, then stopped, then like. Oh my god. And that's like the pattern of of how you have to dodge uh, the attacks. Yeah. It's like a rhythm game, but... Oh. Oh. Alright. If I had to change this, I would like... still give an option for the player to attack Jason. Alright. Because it's like kinda annoying to wait all these attacks out, but, you know. Alright, and he does it a random number of time with a random pattern, so... Oh god, that, that's the worst attack, I think. Alright, then three, and one. Uh, I, I guess, like, as a little, like, dodge, dodging minigame, it's not that bad, but you just have to wait it out, so... God, how many times do I have to... I think I have to take his health like on a quarter. Yeah, okay. Can I light this fireplace? Uh... Jason starts moving to a house after 60... Yeah, that, that's kind of useless. It's not very useful information, I'd say. Uh, but, uh, you know... You know. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this house doesn't have a fireplace. I think there's a house in the forest. The forest doesn't have a map. Let's, let's go in the forest. Oh yes, that's a beautiful forest. Watch out! Is that like a wolf? I think it was like a wolf. Uh, is this like a Lost Woods scenario? Oh, great. Okay, so I guess Jason does attack houses that you've... Uh, am I going the right way? No. Jason does uh, attack houses that you've defended. Uh, I mean, lit the fireplace. Okay. So, like, lighting the fireplaces is just... Uh... Oh my god, that's a bit too much. It's like a, just a way to get ends and unlock new progression items, I guess. Uh, oh my god. Oh uh, yeah, so like uh, on subsequent days, Jason will attack more, more times during these little segments, if I recall correctly. That's a bit excessive though. Uh, 
much. Oh, I'm out of medicine. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to go the other way. I have a little bit of time. I'm going to light up uh, another fireplace. Uh, great. It's kind of funny how you need to move on the side, but uh, the wrong way. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I think it's funny. It's not great to control though. Uh, maybe it would have been better if like moving up or down would just have moved you to another lane. Uh, what now? Uh, defeating Jason, Jason's mother, yields some nice item, but you'll need keys. Mm. I see. I think Jason's mother is like in the cave or something. And I ran out of flashlights. Oh yeah, because flashlights get used get used up uh, at night. Which, you know, maybe... Oh, that's a key. Which, you know, maybe you don't want the flashlight to be automatically used, but... But then's the brakes. Alright, worst attack incoming. One, two, one, two, one. Are you not entertained? Alright, now he's just gonna rush me, which is fine. So I could have taken a character with like more strength and my knives would have dealt more damage, but you know, having less speed is uh, it's not great, because movement speed is important. I think it also affects uh, the rate at which you can dodge in these little encounters. Uh, luck is also important to get critical hits and stuff, uh, but yeah, I took Chrissy uh, for this particular let's play, because <laughs> like, her stats are balanced, so <laughs> not gonna have too many weird uh, issues coming from my stats. Alright, oh. I win for now. Oh yeah, I can't move backwards. Okay, so now I think... Like, I need items. I need items. I need items. I can find a machete from wolves in the forest. I really should go there. I guess the machete is an upgrade from the knife? Uh, turn east. Because, like... I should be able to get an axe also, but now I have the knife. This, oh god. Okay. I'll just go here and see if there's some nonsense. Alright, what did this say? Oh. Oh, oh, oh no. Enemies get tougher at night, they also get tougher after you beat Jason. Okay. So now, what I really wanted to do is uh, get get through the forest and grab some items. But Jason's just like relentless, and uh, I have to admit that I could just let kids, you know, should just let him do his thing and then farm for items during that time, but. But that's not. Uh, that'll uh, take away some of my breathing space in, in case I can't make it. Alright. I'm just 
gonna kill some zombies. One last, a oh, last one. All right, that's. How do I go south? Right. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Flashlight, help me. Oh boy. You know, running out of medicine, that... That wasn't great. Oh. Ah, great. might be it for me. Should have kept those medicines. Uh. And once you die, it's like, game over, man. If you have... If you're playing multiplayer, then you can... Oh, I don't know. Is that right? Can I switch characters? I, I don't remember. I, I think in the original, if your characters died, you could just like pick another one. But in this version, I don't remember. I also don't remember if I had like a cheat to heal myself to full, because that'd be useful. It's like something I usually put in my games, you know, little shortcuts to cheat because they're very useful while testing and all right i have to defeat him one last time before we move on to the next day but i really need some like medicine all right what does this say the torch deals the highest damage, but the pitchfork can hit multiple enemies. I'm never gonna get any of that. I'm never gonna get any of that. Oh. Oh boy. I think I, I should try to go to the... Alright, medicine. I think I should try to go to the forest. Oh, I think the Jason 60 second thing it means like each 60 seconds Jason will go to a new place. Okay. Well, I, I, I can't let Jason do... Uh, you know what? Let's let's leave Jason at his, his devices and let's try and get to the, into the forest to find like some better weapons. And maybe more medicine. Uh, yeah. Okay, so medicine definitely heals you if you're like under a certain threshold of health. That that's smart. It's like fairies in Zelda or something. And I didn't want, you know, I, I just wanted the game to be playable with the directional control and two two buttons. So having extra buttons to use items and things like that. That would have been too much. Okay, so we're into the forest. Uh, okay. I got the axe. Should be able to get something more from... Oh, from wolves, maybe? Oh, well, if I kill them while they're off-screen, that's not gonna work. Okay. Oh, oh no, Jason murdered some kids. 
All right, well, you know. Okay, and you can see like the X on the map where Jason did, did it. I wonder if one key is like enough to go fight Jason's mother. Mm. I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, is there like a bunch of doors or... Oh! Uh. Uh. Alright. Well, let's go fight Jason again. be easier now that I have a, like a better weapon but uh... another thing I'm wondering about is like Jason's mother I think she has different loot every day you fight her if you fight her every day you get like a better thing like armor or something my, my, my memories are really vague I, I made this game in, like like I said like 10 years ago, in like 2013, and uh, but yes, if Jason's mom like gives you different loot if you fight her every day, uh, I really don't know how quick you need to be in order to have the time to go fight her because things things move. I mean, Jason just just goes. He doesn't give you a lot of time. Oh my god. Doesn't give you a lot of time to grind or get some items elsewhere. And since your character needs to turn before they can do anything, it's it's kind of risky to yeah, either you're already well aligned and you can start attacking, or or you need to get out of the way. Okay. Yeah, these zombies, yeah, they get kind of stronger as at night and as the days pass. So you need to upgrade your weapons, otherwise you'll be lagging behind. And uh, I know it... Oh, I thought I dodged that. Might not be like super visible, but the improved weapons do extra damage. Uh, Jason's health bar is just gigantic, like in the original, I think. Uh, but I should be able to... Oh my god. If he stops doing that, I should be able to defeat him in this this fight. Oh god, how much... How many are... What? Alright, calm down, buddy. Watch out! Jason is still alive and stronger than before. Okay, day three. Okay. Day three. Uh, I really want to go fight Jason's mom, though. Yeah, I think it's not that bad if I lose because all the kids are dead. Uh, I just want to show like what happens when I mean I still I want to see what happens when you fight Jason's mom because you know it's been a while and uh, I want to go south okay does he did he get like more attacks no just power walks through the scenery I'm sure, well, you might be faster. And the little, like, watch out arrow makes it pretty easy to dodge. In the original game, there wasn't a watch out arrow. <laughs> Jason just, like, came strutting into view, and that was that. Alright, let's see if I can do something in the cavern. Uh, I want to move north. Okay. Oh god. That's some good platforming. Uh, I'm not sure if like 
there are instant dead pits, but uh, I can tell you that I think they are. Okay. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Well uh Alright. I'm gonna stop this. Oh boy. Okay, well <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that was really funny. Uh, I think this fight wasn't tested enough. Um, and like, I knew she was supposed to like have doubles or something, and maybe that's what we were seeing. But yeah, this this kind of attack was just like not not at all what I wanted. And um, well, I, well, I think like it's a, a perfect ending for this little let's play because like the original game, this game is stupidly difficult. Well, no, it's not. It's not really difficult, but you know, it's it's up twos in some ways, and uh, you need to kind of grind at it in order to finish it. And maybe I could have beaten it in like half an hour if I just like went and defeated Jason again. But you know, uh, Jason's mom was too strong, and uh, I couldn't deal with her. But yes, that, that's it for this year. Uh, it's pretty rare that I record myself playing games, especially my own. But uh, I hope it was kind of enjoyable. Happy Friday the 13th, everyone.